and welcome to the 20th annual AAO Spotlight on Cataract Complications. So I'm David Chang. Um, I've tried a lot of different rings, uh, just in the name of IFAS, and I thought I'd show uh, something a little different. It is FDA approved, although uh, it's not currently picked up by any company. And this is uh, Suvin Bhattacharjee, he's from uh, Kolkata, India. And this ring is very popular uh, in Asia, I believe, and in some European countries. And again, it's FDA approved, and he calls it the B-hex uh, ring. And it's really, really thin. And you engage it uh, uh, with uh, three different areas. That's the hexagonal part. Uh, because it's very thin, you use the forceps that they pr he provides with that. And you can come in from paracentesis. And I thought this might be a good one here because of the, I was concerned about the shallow chamber. And this has the lowest profile and it's also um, very thin. It's like 6 uh, 5 uh, So it doesn't really overstretch the pupil. And I think my goal is just to not have this come down. So here I've got a, it's pretty dense down there. I'm palpating. And uh, so we're going to do horizontal chop. Um, Tom, any, what are your pearls in terms of uh, the FACO technique for this type of lens? You know, I think it's really important to get that initial fracture all the way through the posterior plate. All right. So this ring uh, comes out really easy. It's flimsy, it's thin, uh, and we uh, pull it right out. Uh, so this is uh, the end result. This is a complex cataract surgery using the BHEX pupil expander. Our patient has a history of neovascular glaucoma and now presents with a visually significant cataract and a preoperative visual acuity of 2100. Synechiolysis is performed and the BHEX pupil expander is placed in the anterior chamber using a 23 gauge microforceps. The flange with the holes is placed under the iris and the notches on either side engage the iris. This is repeated for the following flange with holes. And once more. Routine phaco emulsification is then performed using stop and chop. The device creates a hexagonal dilation of 5.5 millimeters. It has a low profile, making entry into and out of the wounds easy. After lens implantation, the BHEX pupil expander is then removed from the eye.